welcome back. Episode 75, Season 4, Don Bradman Cricket on the PlayStation 4 with me, Mr. P. Spartan, captaining the white ball cricket, don't forget now. And we've got Worcester in the T20 Blast. Round 8, we are top of the tree, top of the table, and we're back at our home ground at the fantastic Bradman Oval that we love. So let's see what damage we can do here. Hopefully we can have another good knock. 50 in the last game, 39 in the game before. Going well. Scoring runs quite regularly now and he certainly likes playing here. Nice little ground. Can certainly connect and get some big sixes going hopefully. Come on. Oh, we've got a toss again with Mitchell. Heads and we're back first if we win it. Every time. Even though we've been very good at chasing recently, we will bat first. Might not bowl today. Didn't bowl very well in the last game. We'd love to open. Going to open in um, when we get the new Don Bradman Christmas time when it comes out. We will be opening um, in the white ball cricket. Hopefully you can do that choice so we can go in like a Jason Roy or Alex Hale sort of figure and go in and really go for it from the off. That's what the plan is going to be. And then in four day cricket and if we play test match we're coming sort of probably number five number four or five that's what we're going to plan to do if it all works out that'll be great if not off the mark nice to be on our home ground this i've got to say this is one of our favorite grounds i'm looking forward to the ground come stadium editor on the new game don't know how good it's going to be and what you're going to be able to do but Obviously, it sounds interesting and might be a nice feature to be able to create some more sort of county looking grounds, maybe like this. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility, but if you can make a few more sort of smaller looking grounds, I think that'd be great. I've heard they definitely, hopefully, sorting out like in the career that the players are going to come, are going to retire, and you'll have other ones come in, which is obviously definitely needed. So. Oh, that should have gone. It was a full toss. Yeah. Definitely two again. We're not timing it very well at the moment. Couple twos. Some real loose balls from Dollar Vera. They really should have gone for four, to be honest. I don't know if many of you have played on the Don Bradman on the PC. I haven't bothered. Um, but obviously there's the new academies out and you know you can go in the nets and try it has anybody tried it um, comments in the bottom if you have dudes and let us know what it's like is it a lot better lovely shot crashing blow through the cover I don't know he's got enough on it for four just two more we're dealing in twos at the moment we've not really got going Be two more, I think. Usually scored a boundary by ten balls in on the T20. It's unusual we haven't. That might be it. No, it's two more. Oh, he ran Trez out, going for the third. Trez took forever to turn. He's going to shit in our lunchbox. Oh, he's going to piss in our helmet and shit in our lunchbox. We've ran him out for 50. He looks absolutely distraught. Out of breath as well as run out. Oh, never mind, Trez. Never mind, son. We're winning the group easy. Have a rest. <laughs> sure he's not going to feel like that about it. More spin on. Trustoffic gone for 50 out of 61. We can't get going here. We need to get going. 11 off 13s. Not good for us. We're usually a lot better than that. Gonna have to make up the balls. Go big in a minute, no doubt about it. Just gonna keep sticking out there. We're gonna go big, I tell you. 
Just gonna keep putting it wide outside the off stump. You've got hold of that, that's massive. Big six, 104 metres, one of the biggest ones you've ever hit. Christ, get out of here. That's a massive hit from Spartan. Went straighter than we thought as well, because we were trying to go over the covers more. But there's a big one in the night sky. That is a massive hit. It's keeping on going as well. Where's the man two back there, wide off? Yanked it right round, there's no one over there. Really did yank it round over Cow Corner. The bottom man took over from Spartan. It's time to take over. Trezor's gone. We need some runs from somewhere. Bold us! Played it on and we've gone for 24. We weren't timing the ball that well today. And he's got us out, Gareth Andrew. We just couldn't. I don't know, we just weren't timing it and it was there for the heave. And we just missed it. I don't know what he said, played onto the stumps. I don't think we got a nick on it at all. Nah, I just missed it really. Wasn't our day to day. We were scratching around a little bit. And it just wasn't our day. Let's get on with the next game. Keyswet has knocked in with a few. Don't really matter, I think we're going to qualify anyway. I think Worcester might have won there. Yeah, Worcester have won. First defeat for a while on the T20 for Somerset. An off day as they lose by six wickets, only scoring 166. Spartan with 24. Never mind. We'll get two, two games in this episode anyway. Quite keen to play some four day cricket, to be honest. Let's just check where we are in the league. We should still be up there. Yeah, we're still top. Although Worcester are down, breathing down our necks now. We could do with winning this to. Definitely make sure we qualify. Spartan, 3.64, averaging 52 in the T20. That is fantastic, really. Really is. Top-notch stuff from Spartan. Hopefully, it'll get him a recall in the international T20 because he got dropped because he was poor. He's fantastic in the 50-over stuff, remember. But he didn't fare so well in the T20, um, even though that's where he initially was noticed in white ball cricket was in the T20. So here we are, back at home. We could do a beating Warwickshire. They've not got as many spinners. They've got more pace bowlers. So we could get off to a decent start, hopefully. Be heads again. I know he's he's calling to her at home. They've called heads. So hopefully it's tails. Don't know who the captain is. Little wiener schnitzel by the look of it. We're going to bat first again. It's a wearing top though. Look at it behind. Looks like it could be the same pitch we just played on against Gloucester. It's a real wearing top. Boyd Rankin, bit of pace, bit of pace about the place. What was it 18 for one by the look of it? Spartan coming out, Boyd Rankin, um, Barker, Chris Wokes probably if he's playing. Decent side. Ricky the man Clark, I think, bowling. And above shoulder height. He won't be able to bowl any more in this over. Nice shot for none, that. Really did time it well. Crunched it. Crunched it is the word. We absolutely crunched it. Flicked away. Should be two. Turn and go. Don't run Trez out again. It's not Tommy Cooper this time. You can run him out. He's pissing useless. It was in real life anyway. Tommy Cooper. He was like the Tommy Cooper. You think I'm joking? I'm not. Point single. Not the best of starts again. Our timing's just gone off a bit awry. Going for a bit of a sticky patch probably. This big Boyd again, big Boyd Rankin. Oh, he got hold of that. Straight to the bloody man, it's a shame. Really did get hold of it. Great 
That's four. No, it's not. Mine's eight there. Only two. Oh, well, Don't run him out like he did Trez. And the fielder returns this from out on the boundary. It's a very good return. Two more runs. Straight back over the bowler. I don't know if it's got enough about it. Might run away for four. Yes, it has. It's a real flat one from Spartan. Keeper showed some interest. Come back at him with interest, though, I tell you. Got hold of it nicely. Give me some whip fakes. I cover you, Charlie. Just crashed it through. Didn't quite get under it, but it will be four more. Spartan trying to get going here. He's not quite on song yet. There's a couple shots there to be happy with. Too close to the fielders for comfort, really, but he slapped it away. Cover is the area we're looking at. Still ain't got hold of it properly. There's four more. Fours will do. We don't want to be greedy. We're not necessarily desperate for sixes. In with Hilly now. That's better. Got hold of that one a little bit better. A bit more of a fud. Still not six. Four more. Spot on another Western Gazette. Four Western Gazettes in a row. Which is nice. He doesn't, he doesn't really feel like he's timing it. Man's gone back. Coming up on the other side. Get it straight. It's only going to be one. Cut across it, bit of slice on it. Real slow stuff from Ricky Clark. He's got hold of that. He's got hold of it and sent it in, in, up on the hill. Lovely big six from Spartan. Ricky Clark has picked him up. And he will pick him up if he keeps doing it. Four more. Spartan loves the gap over cover. If you keep feeding him, that's where he's going to go. Man gone back. Glorious shot for the covers. Lovely square cut. Four more. That's a classic shot from Spartan. Really nice. Really lovely shot. Let's see the replay on that. It's worth seeing it. Oh, I didn't get one, you cheeky bastards. He'll be firing down the gunnels here. So oh, Jeetons. Jeeton Battelle. Jeetons. Yeah. The only spinner in their ranks, really. Wondering when he's going to come on. He had so many dodgy decisions against Somerset in the real Royal London Cup semi-final. There was at least two that was dodgy. Jeeton Battelle's. Yeah, in with keys wetter now. Someone's at three down, but at least they've gone along at tens. Eighty off eight is is good. Clipped it away. Got into a dodgy position. We clipped it right backward. Pick up two. Trying to clip it over the infield. Oh, we can't get Ricky Clark away. So slow. 65 miles an hour that come out of his hand. Christ. What's he doing? Ah. Keith spelt IE. Barker. Cool man with the shades on. We've not. We've been starved of the strike here. Not even faced any of that over. 15 overs gone. We've not faced a ball for three overs there. Christ. Six wickets down. The collapse. In with Gregory. He's faced 11 balls. And we've only faced one. There's only four overs to go. We're going to have to get a total here, mine, Gregory. Keep Barker's on. Man down there. Where's the man there? Wide off. Find out of a world, is it? 
Ah, oh, straight down the throat. He's dropped it. We've gone straight down the throat. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, he's dropped it. We've had another drop. We've had a couple drops today since we've been playing, which is nice. And he's dropped an absolute dolly dropper. Yeah. Need to have a move on here, though, really. Spot and 43. He's been starved to the strike. The last four overs, he's faced about four balls. And it's made the run rate dip terribly. Chris Rokes, what a season he's had for England. Yeah. Spotting on the 44. It's not his most illustrious knock, but he's trying to just get a total here. They probably think 150 would be a good score. One, maybe 160. That's a lovely shot. Hooked away. Is it going to go for four? Yes, it is. Spartan first boundary for a while for Spartan. Like I say, there's a decent knock now. He's had to, he's had to be in, a, in an area where wickets have tumbled all around him. And he's bringing them home with better than a runner ball 50 nearly. Just to get a total. It is a wearing top. You know, this could be a 165, 170 pitch really. And that wouldn't be a bad score. Sometimes just got to assess what is a good score and make sure you try and get it. Spartan. Oh, <laughs> That's quick from Boyd Rankin. That's around my ears. I sniff that bad boy. I think we might have nicked off. Yeah, we've nicked off. Gone for 48. Good bowling from Boyd Rankin. Big seam movement there. We will challenge it, but we're out. It was a real big seam movement. You have a look at it. It really nipped away off the seam. We took an edge. Good delivery. Looking to force it. Got to look to force it at this stage. But it certainly moved off the pitch. Left us. We've got a feather edge. See it there. So we turn into X-ray. See what we had for dinner. See the next time we're going to turn out the King Edward the Third. Feather edge gone. Anyway, good forty-eight. Is it enough to win the game? No, not the way they're going. Ninety, hundred, and they're going to win by nine wickets. They've absolutely stuffed us. I hope we're not going to fall away and not qualify for this T20. We've started it so well. I think we've lost three in a row now, though. Trot 81, Bell 77. Bell gets man of the match because only off 38 balls. Good 48 from Spartan, top score, but not enough. Not enough to win the game. And we sunk. Are we out of the top two? There's only one game left now in this, I think. Is it 10 matches? Don't know if it's 10. Yes, it is 10. We need to win the last... Well, no, we definitely qualify because they've already played 10 unless we get absolutely marmaduke by Northampton. But the two tits, Sayers and Peters, will be playing for them and we should have enough about us to win. Spartan, up there, over 400 runs. Fifth in the list, averaging 51. It's been a very, very good T20 campaign again for Spartan. Um, he's not got the runs that Bell and Trot have got. Look at those two on top, 600 and 500. But we sh we could get past 450, which would be fantastic again. That would be really good. Anyway, dudes, see you soon for more Don Bradman. And we'll finish up the T20 in the next episode. Cheers, dudes. Stay safe. Just wanna tell you how.